Good morning and welcome to the next in our series of Bible readings from John's Gospel. I wonder if, like me, during this pandemic, you felt uh, overwhelmed at times or whether you felt that you've been asked to do things which are above and beyond your ability uh, to take risks, to step out of your comfort zone, to use all the usual cliches. Well, I think in this, as in many other things, Jesus is our example, our model, the one that we follow. So I want you to read with me today, Luke, Luke, John chapter 13, verses 1 to 5. John 13, verses 1 to 5. I'm on the wrong page. It was just before the Passover festival. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The evening meal was in progress and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal took off his outer clothing and wrapped a towel round his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped round him. That might not seem like a terribly dramatic thing for Jesus to do. Obviously, the crucifixion, the crucifixion was waiting for him uh, very soon. But it was quite a challenging thing to do. Jesus was um, the host of this meal and... Um, he took upon himself to perform the task of a servant, of a slave, uh, a female slave at that, and humbled himself and lowered himself to perform this task, which then, he then says is a, is a model for us to do. Now, how did he do that? How did he do many of the things that she was enabled to do? Well, let's look at the, the preceding verses. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. He knew that it was time for him to depart. He knew that it was time for him to, re to return to his heavenly Father. And then in verse 3 it says, Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his feet, under his power, and that he'd come from God and was returning to God. Verse 4, so he got up. Because he knew who he was, because he knew where he was from, because he knew where he was going back to, he was able to get up and perform this task. Jesus knew his deep inner security in his relationship with his father. And that made him able to do the things that he did. Whether it was amazing miracles, whether it was this act of service or whether it was going to the cross. Because Jesus was secure and knew his relationship with his father, he was able to do many things. And we too need to be secure in our relationship with our father, with God. Because if we know that we are secure in our relationship with him, then we'll be able to go forwards into the new things that God is calling us into. Our identity is in our relationship with our Father, not in anything else. Now, this is a battle constantly for us because we are tempted to find our identity and our security in other things which will not suffice. For some, it's uh, their identity or their confidence in their qualifications or their abilities. But we come to the end of those. And sometimes our qualifications are just pieces of paper and not worth much at all. For some, it might be our family background, our race even, that gives us confidence. And the flip side of that is that if we haven't got the qualifications, if we don't feel like we've got the abilities, if we feel like we don't come from a good background, if we feel like we're from an oppressed race, then we might feel that we don't have the ability or the confidence to go forwards into the challenges that are before us. We need to find our confidence in our relationship with our Father, with God, 
because that does not change. It is from grace. And that means resisting the temptations to find security in something else. And it also means resisting the voices that tell us that we're no good because we don't match up to some other standard. God loves you and he welcomes you into a relationship with himself as his child, his son, his daughter. He welcomes you. Whatever you have done, wherever you have been, whatever you have said, God welcomes you. Let's pray. Father, thank you that we can find our security, our identity in you. Help us to translate that into practical confidence as we go forwards to meet the challenges we face. Amen. Amen. To remind you that uh, our services at KCBC are being shared live on Facebook and on YouTube. Um, Thursday evenings, our midweek service at 7 p.m. Our Sunday service is at 11 in the morning, 4.15 in the afternoon for our French language service. Um, also, just to remind you that if you have prayer requests or you want to be part of one of our small groups, let us know. We're also trying to connect with many of the questions that people are facing today. Our sister, one of our leaders, Malusi Delacqua, has started a new show on Facebook at, at five o'clock on Sundays. Uh, last Sunday it was on faith and science. And it'll be on other subjects each Sunday. I myself am going to start a new um, Zoom uh, conversation called Thinking Aloud. Uh, thinking is allowed uh, and is permitted as Christians. And so I want to address some of the questions that people have, and particularly people who are thinking about faith, people are thinking about the meaning of life. And we're going to do the first one uh, tomorrow as it happens, which is the 2nd of June. Uh, we're going to do that at 8 o'clock in the evening. Um, and the first one is going to be on the issue of race and racism. Uh, what do we do about it? What does Christianity have to say about racism? And uh, Obviously, this is in particular in response to the situation in the United States, uh, but also uh, in this country as well. BAME people, that is people of black and ethnic, uh, minority ethnic uh, background, are uh, substantially more at risk from the COVID vir virus. Uh, and this is largely due to structural injustices uh, in our society. So we're going to look at the subject of race and racism tomorrow night, on Zoom. I'll be publicizing the uh, the link for that on uh, social media platforms. So anyone's welcome to come along and take part in that discussion with me. Uh, it will be a discussion. Uh, you'll be able to put your point of view as well. Uh, so please do join me uh, Tuesday, uh, eight o'clock in the evening for Thinking Aloud, first episode, uh, What About Race? Take care now. God bless you. God be with you. And God is with you. Amen.